Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, weather records, eye candy, the Galactic Center, and two more secret observer professors on a bombshell paper in a big journal. We begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star, which includes the small filament eruption on the north, and then a load of quiet as the dark coronal holes turn through. Their solar wind is about a day and a half away from Earth, but we also need to come back to that small filament eruption on the north. Most of the ejecta in the CME will indeed miss Earth, and on SOHO, it appears all of it will miss to the north. But Stereo A is showing an equatorial component as well. Earth off to the right. This will be a baby love tap sometime after the coronal hole impact. Very small, a scientific note only, not a scary one. Folks, local news is covering the record cold and snow but I have not seen one single mention of these all season in national or international media. Same as happened in China and Japan the last few months. They covered the record heat when it happens, but I suppose the other side of the story doesn't fit their narrative, whether it's real or imaginary. Let's get some eye candy up next. Gorgeous shot of stellar jets blasting out here from a dense core of a molecular cloud. The star itself can't be seen, but with jets like that, nobody would be looking at it anyway. Excellent note here. I'm sure there must be some of you who remember a time when Sagittarius A was invisible in these shots of the orbiting stars near the galactic center. Newer technology is showing its signatures, and again here, it's anything but black. Okay, folks, it has been a pervasive aspect of both solar climate forcing and modern catastrophism that the rippling, wavy, radial Parker spiral current sheet is a pivotal and underappreciated aspect of the physics. Even after they began using particle forcing for the sun, they still neglected the interplanetary magnetic field, and at the galactic scale, it's a big disaster show. Folks, two observers in this group, one of them emailed me yesterday saying they were going to get called into the director for this one, and yeah, yeah they are. To begin a paper like this is quite the thing, especially because the science has already showed them how this coupling affects the Earth all the way down to the surface and below. It's been an enormous missing piece in the Earth energy budget, that gets blamed on carbon. Seriously, without it in the models, they had to attribute solar wind magnetic reversal input of energy somewhere, just like the power of solar flares and CME impact. For a century, that forcing has been blamed on humans. Of course, they haven't even begun to work out how much the galactic magnetic reversal is already affecting the planets in the sun. Ignored aspect of coupling doesn't even begin to describe that one. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.